All right, welcome back everybody to the mind of Gabs. Today we are going to be talking about something that I'm getting a lot of questions about, which is how do I edge guard? And to do that, I've used probably the easiest character in the game uh, to edge guard with, to learn how to edge guard with at least, uh, because her aerials, uh, that would be Lucina, her aer aerials, her forward air, back air, neutral air, just so good. Uh, because they have such a large forward hitbox. And they actually are mostly the same. Her forward air is very similar to a back air. Even though her forward air starts uh, high and ends low. And her back air does the opposite. Starts low and goes high. They still have the same basic pattern. They're still like half circles in a sense. Uh, they have a lot of range in forward air in front. And forward in front of her. So we're going to be using those today to teach you. And I'm using Ganondorf because Ganondorf is one of the easiest characters in the game to learn how to gimp. So that is the name of the game today, how to gimp your opponent, and we're going to do practice mode with Ganondorf, um, and here we go. So today's strategy, the runoff forward air. That is it. That is the one that you always should start off learning how to do, and there are obviously different variations, but just the runoff forward air, and you can catch their jump and catch their up B, and you can kill them without actually knocking them into the blast zone. So consider this another tool in the toolkit that can help you learn how uh, to approach certain matchups. So for like Ganondorf, he's a heavy character. He has a lot of kill potential himself. So if you play the War of Attrition against you know percentage versus percentage, uh, you know the better the Ganon, the harder it's going to be for you to to beat him in that War of Attrition. So what you have to do is you have to learn how to beat them at their disadvantage and that would be off stage because their recoveries are so linear in nature Ganondorf can only up B or side B and if you take his jump he doesn't have that much of distance to recover this is also something you can do against characters like Little Mac you should never be playing Little Mac on stage you should be playing focusing your whole game around the off stage uh, gimping so the runoff forward air very powerful so there is some timing to it you just um, yeah, there's some spacing to it, and every character has a different spacing to it. Like Ike can come off, you really got to save that jump, and then up B. So that's a, something you want to consider when you're doing this run off forward air, is to conserve that jump. If you conserve that jump, it, you can always, 99% uh, of the time, get back to the stage. And now some characters like Cloud, it might be possible to do a run off forward air, jump, come back, up B. That's going to be very risky, because his up B is probably one of the easiest to down tilt out of, or counter out of and get him out of it and, and and well gimp him and so the definition of a gimp by the way if you don't know what it is is to defeat your opponent once again through um taking their jump or taking their recovery and getting the die by it without killing them off the blast zones so a couple variations of this uh so there's the runoff forward air that's basic enough i just hold i just hold right while i'm going down there or from the other side I just hold left, forward air, jump, come up. Now, some variations. Uh, run off, drift back like this, jump, and that would be another way. So when your opponent sees you always coming this way, they might recover really low, and they might try to up B this way through the stage and get that that you know that vertical recovery as close to the stage as possible. So what you're going to do is you want to drift back, forward air, and then hit them out of it. So I'm jumping and forward airing. That way I can get that vertical drift as with that forward air and then boom up be out of it so that's a good one the drift back forward air come back and cover oh didn't get it that time that's okay there's the runoff jump forward air and if you're just right with some characters you uh are a certain distance you can come back to the stage there's the double jump off the edge so you might do this and you might notice that your your opponent says hey you know this person keeps coming off trying to hit me in this area right here and so when I'm recovering, I'll just recover high and just I'll be up here and just drift towards the edge and come back. And that will happen. So all you do is you jump, hit him with the forward air here, come back. So this is all forward air based. Now, is this also back air based? Sure. But the back air is going to be slightly different. Because if you jump off and your forwards, your, your face is towards the opponent, you can't really back air him. So there's, there's a slight variation to this step. And it depends upon, I guess, when did you hit them and how did you hit them. So, like, if I'm at the stage here and I forward tilt them, I can just turn around and then jump with my back towards them and then get that that edge guard or that gimp. So I just take my back towards them and I'll jump with them and I'll hit them this way. 
Um, you'll also notice that some characters up these can knock them out of their jumps like what I did there and that would be a, another way to gimp. So let's see if I can hit this. Get, get him with like a nice little forward tilt here. Get him off the stage. Get my back towards him. Boom. There you go. Took his jump. Hit him with that back here. So the only thing here is uh, when you're close and you hit him like this, just turn around and then jump with your back towards him and you can get that for that that back air hit and that's that's a, that's a very potent tool in this game so characters like cloud that's what the, that's what you're going to want to do with cloud you're going to want to turn around hit him with that that long back air snake does this mario luigi does this uh, bowser can do this donkey kong as long as your character has a as a back air that has good range to it and a nice hitbox to it you're you're looking good there same thing with forwarder if you have a character with good forwarder be like inkling has great runoff forwarder and it's so quick too donk uh, diddy kong has great runoff forward air that would also be like incineroar uh, rob can also do that and rob would be one of the less risky characters to do that with because his recovery is so good in terms of being able to get back to the stage the runoff forward air and if you miss ganon that's easy enough to you can just tech it and then you get another chance always with him. Uh, neutral air. Some characters have run off neutral air. Same thing. And you can run off and gimp them. Um, what else are we, we looking at here? Let's see. We got the run off forward air. Uh, we got the turnaround. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, like, let's say... Let's get Ganon back here. Let's say I'm over here at Ganon. And uh, let's say I read something. And I get that charge forward smash. And I run, run off and hit him uh, with that back air. Right, so like with Cloud, um, I don't really have that forward air that I want to use uh, to hit him with, or I'm just I just got a forward air that I'm not looking to edge guard with. I want to edge guard that back air. So, and I'm far away from when I get, first get that initial hit, like right here, and I'm running, running, running. Well, it's not like sitting still, getting that forward tilt, getting that stutter step turnaround, or just that really quick pivot turnaround and jumping off. It's it has it's it's very much the opposite of this because this is very patient. You have a lot of time to turn around. Uh, jump, you know, you can go watch Titanic come back and then, you know, your opponent's ready for you to come uh, hit you with that back air. This is a slightly different case, so if you hit them probably anywhere in the center stage and beyond and you're dashing towards them, there's somewhere in this area between here and here where if you're dashing, you can pivot. Pivot just means you smack the other direction. When you pivot, run, press the other direction with your control stick, you can hear my C stick, run, pivot. Run, pivot, right? So I'm going to run, and then as I pivot, I'm going to jump, and I'm going to slide my finger from the X button over to the A button. So what I'm doing is I'm run, pivot, jump, and then I can hit my back air with my thumb. I can, either, I can even do a C-stick if I want to. So run, pivot, jump, back air. That's what we call a reverse aerial rush, but I like to just think of it as I'm just turning around and jumping. So I can turn. And now I can get that, that drift. I can edge guard him with that back air. So let's see. Let's hit him far here. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. Run. Turn around. Back air. Boom. Got it. And you can even you can fall with it. And, and uh, some characters like Lucina, her back air, super powerful to kill with. Same thing with like Cloud. And you might just kill your opponent as well. Because your opponent might be like Inkling. Where, I don't know, their side B, which is like a roller has a really really ridiculous recovery uh, recovery ability they can you can uh, with inkling you can side b cancel it with a jump and then she has another up b out of it and that can cover you can do it from one side you can actually recover with inkling from this side of the stage you can go under the stage with her side b jump out of it up b and then hit the other side of the stage like it's an incredibly <sighs> I'm gonna say 50-50 recovery, uh, and that's used by the best uh, inklings right now. That's what I'm seeing them do, and it's really hard to predict: are they gonna go right or are they gonna go left uh, under the stage? So sometimes it's not worth it on some characters to gimp them, as opposed to just running off, hitting with the backer, and trying to kill them. And who who knows? Maybe you get lucky, and then you hit them too far away, and they can't recover. And so that would be it for the first gimping tutorial. It's just the runoff aerial. Hit him with uh, with that forward air, that, that back air, run off. Hit him with that forward air, back air. And I will leave you with one more tool in the box. This is like my bonus uh, gimping measure. And this is something that you can use uh, against a lot of characters that have that vertical recovery. Run off, back air. Stage spike, footstool at the end, or just jump back and up B. So the run off, back air as they're recovering, boom. 
that's another way it spikes them if they're not ready for it and if you don't tech it it will gimp you take your stock without actually hitting you into the blast zone i love that one just run off back air boom and you got them so just try it really you gotta you gotta practice go to training mode go to different characters see who it works with who it doesn't work with just spend you know spend some time guys if you if you've never done it before this this is way to start i honestly think that lucina is probably one of the best ones to start off with to do this with you can also do it with mario uh, as well i hope you guys enjoyed and like and subscribe if you have any questions or you want to direct where the next gimping video goes maybe you want to go more character specific or you want to go more strategy specific uh just let me know in the comments and i will do my best to address it take care